Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my desk is a bit cluttered and a bit messy because I need to sit and plan and I thought I would take you for the whole journey. So it's actually Saturday morning. It's about a quarter of 10 and I am ready for the day. I never sat down and, and wrote yesterday, Friday, June, I don't know, 10th. It was my last day of school. And then when I got home, my hubby and I ran to the grocery store, came home, put it all away, had dinner. Um, yeah, I chit chatted with my son on the phone. He's coming today to hang out. I need to clean his room. I need to do my usual Saturday chores. Plus, I actually need to sit down and empty my brain because it's very full of things I need to accomplish before we leave for vacation. I have a lot of filming I want to do to share with you and prep for that. So let's just get started. Alrighty, so this is my classic planner. I'm not quite ready for this. I'm going to set it off to the side. Here is some stuff I pulled to film in my classic. So maybe I will put it all off to the side. I'm not sure why this is out. Oh, I know why. Because I need to choose some kits for other planners, but I'm going to put it away for now. So let's talk yesterday, Friday. It was cloudy and it was 70 degrees. I did walk. I did get my laundry done. So check. And um, hubby and I went and got to the grocery store. So today I do need to do towels. And before I do that, I have to do my son's pillow and blanket because he's coming to spend the night. And we're gonna have a campfire. So that's exciting. So let's do a fire pit sticker from Coffee Planner Mom because that's entirely too fun. And I have these fires from So Cute Planner. And I'm gonna do fire pit. I'm gonna keep those handy because I'm gonna plan it again in my um, classic. This is my A6 Hobonichi Tecjo that I had gotten from, right from my heart. She had a giveaway and I won it, which was exciting. So yeah, so I have that to do. I definitely need to vacuum before he comes. Um, like us, he's allergic to cats. And yeah, we have one. I know that's crazy, but she adopted us. So yeah, that's just how that goes. So I actually planned this week without you. And this is what it looks like. And actually, yesterday was a good day. Let me get one of my girls, one of them right here on top. I had a really good productive day at work, my final day of school. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna leave this here because I'll be planning the following week in this in a bit. But let's take care of some book updates. So I, this year, have not been writing in the books I read at school with my students. In prior years I have, but this year I decided I am not doing that because I'm just not. So what I am going to do though is write in books that I solely read on my own. And one of the books I had read at school um, on the 4th, right? I had to preview it um, for Literature Circle and it's called In My Enemy's House. It is a historical fiction about World War II. And that's one of the themes that I cover. In fact, we read Anne Frank, Diary of a Young Girl. 
Then I always try to read student literature um, over the summer. And I discovered this is actually the second uh, book, The Book of Elsewhere. The first one, um, I forget what it was called. It's back at school. Um, I wonder, oh, The Shadows. So um, if you have a kiddo, this is, I think, it's probably geared to upper elementary, middle school, um, but I think the the reading level is kind of low. Um, probably, I haven't checked it, so I'm not going to say, but um, I'm reading this. There's five of them, and I'm reading this whole series, so I can recommend it to my middle schoolers. So, The Shadows, and I read that... Um, on the 5th, and this one, Spellbound, I'm thinking my dates are wrong. They are. This should be 6, 7, this is 6, 8, there we go. You know what? That looks messy. Not that the dates really matter because I, I really don't feel like they do, but I'm going to fix it. What did I say that was? 6-6 six, six was Monday, so 6-7 was Tuesday. 6-7 into 6-8. And this would have been... Six, nine into six, whoops, Gail, six, eight into six, nine, six, eight into six, nine, and this was six, nine into six, ten. So yeah, I intend to uh, track all of them because I think that they do count. I am actually reading them, even though they're obviously not on my, green, my reading level, <laughs> but yeah, it's still good. So that's updated. So I hope you are well. Things are fine here. Um, it's a bit cloudy today. So I am in capris. And I have my cleaning shirt on. When my son comes later, I hope to uh, go for a walk with him. I might have to change if the sun comes out. So anyway, this probably could use another little scrubby. I haven't given it a scrubby in a little while. Let's talk this week's plans. So um, let's see, my month. I should mark that this was the last day of school, mostly just to use something. So I'm gonna use this guy right here. Last. Yay. And I think I will put another little box here. And I've just updated that. So I still have plenty of boxes and things left. I might actually use this for a spread if I can, if I don't use them here. Um, but let's move into this week. So this was Coffee Planner Mom's Retro Kit. I did that. I did that. Um, gosh, I, and I worked. And we got groceries. 
I didn't really fill this out um, Thursday into Friday. My uncle died on this day. <clears throat> So there's a bit of a shadow and hanging over things and I'm trying to make sure that um, I don't allow it to be a shadow or more than just a shadow hanging over. I still need to do my banking and even though this is Friday, I'm going to carry it over and I'm going to write that nice and big because I have to do that. I also um, did my laundry yesterday. So let's see. I got my hair cut and I wrote it in my main um, in my monthly but let's see um, not that I had to, to do it but I did have a nice chat with my daughter and my mom. Not that it's a to-do, because it's not. It's what I did. And then yesterday, I had a chat with my boy. He took this day off. And I'm just going to say my self-care was walk to school. That was nice. And um, it's the last day. So, this is going to be fire pit. So, I'm going to uh, get that out. Instead of having this really bright, so cute planner fire, I'm going to use this White Deer Stationery Campfire. She just had in her Instagram that she came out with a few new doodles. And I actually love her stickers very much. I love the soft colors. Um... I think they're fantastic. I'm going to use a simple script from Coffee Planner Mom. So, uh, yeah. I'm not... I've, I've been on a, a no spend, but I'm not... I'm thinking about buying. Let me just say. <laughs> so... Um, even Thursday, I walked. I walked to my haircut, so that was good. I'm going to put this back. Um, yeah. So let me flip forward to my health. So this is what this looked like. Um, Thursday for dinner. Yesterday was Friday. Yesterday we went out. We got nachos. That was super good. For lunch I had my quinoa. I forgot my tuna. Um, we had a sandwich on this day. I had egg salad, I believe. No, I had a regular sandwich. And then I walked to my haircut. So although that wasn't a full three miles, it was pretty close. It was two and a half. So I'm going to put that in. And then yesterday was Friday. I walked to and from school. So that was three miles. And that was good. <clears throat> um, today is Saturday. I had coffee for breakfast and a banana. Yesterday I had, oh, I had two protein bars yesterday. One for a snack and one with lunch. Because I forgot my tuna. And, um... For breakfast, did I have yogurt? I did. No, I didn't. I had an egg with toast and pineapple. All right, see, this is why I have to fill it out, but I wasn't going to. I was just going to leave it, um, but there, it's filled out. Okay, now let's get into today. So this week... At seven this week is the week of wow june 13th to 19th can hardly believe how fast life is going 
And I'm gonna pause for a quick moment. I'll be back in one second. I really need something to drink, I'm very thirsty. I got a drink of water, but I also brought a cup of coffee in with me because, you know, why not? So for this week in my classic, I pulled all this washi. It's all simply gilded. I love this one, it's glitter tape. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna use that one or the blue, but I know these pink, well, I'll hold still. The pink and purple go well. And I have this kit. It's an older kit from So Cute Planner. This was before she went to removable paper. It's a beach scene, but this kind of reminds me of my deck because we have a pergola and I have lights like this. I don't have this kind of a couch, but I do have furniture. And so there's plenty of boxes and checklists and the washi's pretty and this. And I also pulled my Cosmos colorway from Coffee Planner Mom. This is Beth's former freebie. I thought I would use the dinner's chores and laundry and maybe even some of the florals. I thought I would do the priority um, from this. Uh, I can't remember what the PPS sale st stood for, planner something. But anyway, um, this was an exclusive freebie at that time. And I wanted this quote. <clears throat> and I, yeah, I wanted that quote. I'm not sure if I'll use anything else because I have plenty from this kit. So, um, maybe I'll start with the washi. And I'm going to take it all the way to the bottom. So I'm glad to be on summer break. I have to keep reminding myself. I've noticed while I was at school this week doing my data entry that I really find myself humping my shoulders up all the time. And I need to consciously say to myself, that went down crooked rest, you know, relax, drop your shoulders. That went down crooked. I'm going to have to trim. Um, which, yeah. So I also noticed that as the week progressed, I slept closer and closer to six, which, um, does happen to be during summer break. I don't know why. Um, I just, you know, apparently can't keep it together to, uh, in my, my, my sleep shifts, I actually act like a grown up and go to bed, you know, when it's dark <laughs> after nine. Um, and then of course, because I'm going to bed at 10, sometimes 11 or later, I'm sleeping later because, you know, I still need, I'm one of those kind of people that needs the full eight hours actually I find that I, I really need a good eight to nine hours on a regular basis. I mean, I can skip here and there, but not often. Um, yeah. So that's, that's me. But one of the things I was thinking about when I was walking home from school yesterday was what I intended to pack um, with me as far as journaling our vacation. I always prep a planner to take and some pens and typically I film that and I know what I want to do this year but honestly I'm really I know I asked you a question in my last one about Fitbits and I really appreciate all that feedback thank you but I have to tell you what I'm thinking about this year or this week rather is what are your thoughts? I'm trying to figure out what wash to use. What are your thoughts on those self print, you know, the printers, um, like the selfie and all those other printers that you carry with you? Um, do you have one? I know that I've, you know, follow some people who do and they're always showing them, and I'm like, man, I need to get one of those, because I figure 
as soon, you know, for Kate May, for example, um, every morning, you know, when Mike and I get up and I'm usually up before him, um, we have coffee and sit in the room for an hour or so before we get out the door and head to the beach. And every evening we're hanging out in, in the room after and I always journal at lunch our morning and I always journal our afternoon and evening when we get back to the room before we go to bed. And so I was thinking how ideal it would be to have one of those printers. I could print the pictures right then and there, stick them in my planner page right off the bat. And that excites me. So leave a comment below and let me know. And then I thought, gosh, I wonder if I can get one at the Walmart. It's a state, right? 13. It is. So you saw me switch out numbers because I knew I had used um, this as a fresh sheet and knew I had the right dates from a prior plan with me last week. So I cut the numbers off the current kit and put them away for another day. And I'm using up the one that's here. And in fact, I'm going to leave it out and handy so I have it when I plan later today or tomorrow or Monday for the following week. Alrighty, so let's see. Grab my, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. Just need that. Um, so my uncle was perfectly healthy. I shouldn't say perfectly. He was 69 and um, he got a cut on his hand working in his wood shop which got infected and he got um, he had gotten some medication to take care of it and it just wasn't strong enough and he had had some kidney troubles a few years ago when at the start of covid and i think that's why they were giving the lighter medicine. I'm not sure. My cousin wrote all the details, but, um, yeah, he had to go to the hospital and he ended up getting MRSA and I don't know. It was just like a week or so in the hospital. Um, not breathing on his own and that was it and no he did not have COVID um, he actually um, at the time we thought that he was going to be fine he he was improving he didn't have any infection in his body so I, I don't know what happened it was his time I suppose all right I need to move on from that um, okay. So that's why that's there. So I want to think this is the day we leave. So I'm going to put this double box before we go. And I think I will put, because I have it, I'm trying to actively, when I have a kit such as this, use it, use what I have enjoy what I have. So, yeah. Put that down. It's a little wonky because I was going by the washi, which I didn't put down correctly. So I'm going to have to disguise that. Let's disguise it. And put this here. And let's put this one with it. Hopefully that'll straighten my eyeball. Okay, so Wednesday, let's put down this. 
things I'll probably sit around and read on Wednesday. I doubt it. I've got a lot to do. <laughs> All right. So Thursday, I like the idea of the clothes because packing, and I think I'll use this one. And I think I'll just put it here. So the Happy Planner boxes are super long in this particular planner. And I think it's because the, the lines are so narrow. And I, I don't mind that it doesn't fill the box because I just don't mind. It's fine. Okay, so... I think Friday, since it's a traveling day, I will put this box here. Let's use this dark one. Oh, see, like that's an instant camera. Oh my gosh, Gail, that's super crooked. Um, this is undo, it'll take the sticky out of the sticker so I can lift it. So yeah, that's not quite what I want. I don't necessarily want the camera, I just want like the printer. And I'll tell you what, if I could walk into my Staples or Walmart right in town and buy it, I'm gonna. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Um, yeah. And that's the other thing. I'm really kind of aware of what I'm purchasing, as we all are, right? I mean, budget. But... <clears throat> I think it would be fun to have. Can I do a glitter header? Just gonna slightly overlap, but that's okay. Love that. So I want one here and one there. And I think I will put this one here and then I will also use this one. Maybe something like that. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna put this one all the way at the bottom. Um, let's do the dark. And set this on top. And I think I'm gonna use the pink. Nice. And then my last box is gonna go here. I think I'll use the two pinks. And that way this is sort of extended. And this can go up here. Okay, now then, I need a ton of checklists. And I'll probably just go right in order. Because I have quite a bit that I need to get done this week. I'm going to put Thursday's checklist down low and Friday's checklist will be here. So I think I will do a header for each of the checklists and I'm going to mix them up as these little things. I'm going to cover that first heart, and that's okay. So I'm going to take this word priority from Coffee Planner Moms and do this because that's the day we leave. And I want um, some sort of an icon, like 
must do like an exclamation mark, which I do not have. But I do have this and I'm going to take a purple and we'll go like that. Okay, good. And then um, Thursday morning, I have, you know what? No, I'm just going to go with it. Thursday morning, I have a mani-pedi at 9.30. And I'm just going to put this box here. And I think I'm going to put a coffee with it. And she has that. So we'll do Manny Petty there. And I need a word. And Thursday will actually be quite a bit of... Um, I know that sounds weird. Why would I get a manicure then clean? So I'll probably, oh, I should have made my appointment for later. I'm not as bright as I think I am. But I'm gonna take this chores. Maybe we should do chores on Wednesday. I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna put this cleaning icon here and the word chores there. That'll be fine. I can still do like a to-do. I might do laundry. Let's do that. Cleaning and laundry. And she actually has a laundry washing machine. We'll just do that. Ta-da. Okay. So here, I'll do a you got this. And Monday, I'm going to do a plan time because I have quite a bit of filming I wish to do. And I think I will put on this. Grab the weekend banner, lay it down here. My whole life is a weekend now. <laughs> oh golly, Tuesday is trash day. So we'll set that down. And we'll take this purple trash icon. That's great. All right, now coffee planner mom. Has a trash sticker. And so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the full size one. She has simple scripts and brush scripts on the same sheet. I'm struggling getting this one off. This one might be one of her. I bought an oopsie bundle of hers and um, I'm finding them. <laughs> it's still quite usable. It's just, it might not have been cut super well. So yeah, anyway trash. Um, what else? I think over here, I'm going to use my dinner's script, also from Coffee Planner Mom. This is off Beth's freebie in the Cosmos colorway, which is a purple. And I think I will lay it and take Another one of these glitter headers. I pulled all that washi and haven't really even used it. And I'm gonna lay two of them, I think. Lay the word dinners. And she has a fork and spoon in her kit. I'll lay that. 
I'll take my Monday through Sunday box for dinners, which I guess I could have put right there, but that's fine, whatever. And another glitter header here. I feel like I need a this week's list. Maybe what I'll do is lay a habit tracker for walking. And I'll put that in. And I'm thinking, yep, I will lay another habit tracker. This Monday through Sunday box and this final. That's not a habit tracker, that's a glitter header. And um, I'm going to use this alarm clock. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. I really feel like that's about it. Let's look at the weekend. lay this here and this here and I'm going to use marshmallow but leave for Kate May and this here and I am going to put in leave the hotel our check-in time I know I got kind of quiet. Um, yeah, so this is how this is going to look. This is for journaling because I'll write the leave time here and then um, we drive to New Jersey and then we'll stop and then get up and have coffee. This will be for Jersey Shore outlets and where we have lunch and getting our key and where we have our dinner and then getting up and journaling our morning and our lunch and our afternoon and where we have dinner. So that'll be fabulous. I'm loving it. And I think it is super spectacular. I hope you're having a fantastic week and that all is well with you 
and your family. Uh, You'll have to leave me a comment below and let me know something you're looking forward to this summer. Unless, of course, you know about your um, little self printer and you want to tell me a little bit about that. As far as this goes, I'm, I might put some of these scripts in my reusable sticker book. Um, I don't think I'll keep any of those. A couple of these checklists I will probably keep. So, yeah, that's fantastic. So I hope you have a great week. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye. Mm -hmm.